الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولاه فم سيرة البخاري رحمه الله يروى أن البخاري رحمه الله ركب البحر مرة وكان معه ألف دينار هذا يعني في ذلك الزمان مال طائر. بخاري رحمه الله ذكرت أن بخاري himself uh, one of the stories is he traveled by sea and he was on the ship and he had 1,000 dinar with him which is a lot of money at that time. فركب بجانبه رجل أظهر له محبته وشعر الإمام البخاري رحمه الله بحبه وثقته به حتى أنه يعني أخبره عن المبلغ الذي يحمله الألف دينار الدرهم إمام البخاري رحمه الله with him next to him the man came and was sitting next to him and he showed that he is loyal and he is good and friendly with Imam Bukhari and such. Imam Bukhari with time he got used to him and he felt comfortable with him. So somehow he told him about the huge amount of money that he has. وفي ذات صباح قام هذا الرجل يصرخ ويضرب وجهه ويصيح فاجتمع الناس عليه بابا جرى ماذا حصل مالك قال فقدت ألف دينار كانت في صرف In the morning one morning the man woke up behaving like crazy person slapping himself crying and yelling and everybody came to him until he said I lost 1000 dinar in a small package So they started searching the luggage of every person in the ship. بدأ في التفتيش في متاع الركاب وعندها قام الإمام البخاري خفية أخذ الألف دينار وألقاها في البحر. إمام البخاري رحمه الله when he saw this, he snuck his one thousand dinar and he threw it in the sea. They looked, they couldn't find anything, they got so angry at the person, you know, it looks like you're not truthful. Anyway, the next day when they got off the ship, The man after everybody got off the ship, he came to Imam Bukhari and he told him, where is your 1,000 dinar? قال, القيتها في البحر. He told him, I threw in the sea. قال, كيف تلقي هذا المبلغ الطائل في البحر? يعني كيف استطعت? How could you throw 1,000 dinar in the sea? It's like throwing a million dollar down. قال, Al-Bukhari رحمه الله, قال لقد سرت العالم بحثا عن حديث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم واشتهرت ثقتي او ثقه الناس بي على طول هذا الزمان هل تعتقد انني ساضيع هذه الثقه واتهم بسرقه I search for hadith all my life. The whole world knows how trustworthy I am. You think I'm going to ruin that trust and make people think that I am accused of a theft? And then he added, وقال, قال, ما قيمة, ما هذه, يعني يتكلم عن الحديث, هذه الدرة الثمينة اللي هي الثقة والعدالة في رواية الحديث هذه الدرة الثمينة 
هل تساوي أن أضيعها لدراهم معدودة؟ Do you think that this wonderful piece of jewel which is trustworthy and just to be trustworthy and just you think I'm going to waste that jewel for just few dirham I want you to reflect on this story how important it is to maintain your reputation money is nothing he threw it in the sea it's not coming back to him it's all of what he has and his saving and everything so he can maintain maintain that trustworthiness that we are until now praising him and will be until the day of judgment imagine if that thousand dirham was found in his luggage of course he didn't steal it but what's the accusation will go and what's the story a person lost a thousand dinar found it with Imam Bukhari. Now try to talk about how good Imam Bukhari is and how good Sahih al-Bukhari is. Would anyone would think of doing that? That is the, not only the intelligence, but that's the love and the care that those great a'imma, how hard they worked and how much they cared and how sincere they were where everything in this world is worthy, less, nothing but to protect the Sunnah and to protect the people of the Sunnah. And that's why sometimes it is worthy of doing the impossible to defend anything, which in turn, when you defend it, you defend Islam. And that is how important it is for us to hold our mouths and tongues from speaking when we belittle someone or something, in turn, the Islam will be belittled in the eyes of the ignorant people. That is how important it is to know when to talk and when to not talk, where the person gave up everything so he will protect his character one of his characters even though he's honest Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows nothing to be blamed for no sinning nothing but to him who he is and who he, he represents which is the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa worth everything for him we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us follow the footsteps of those righteous predecessors ameen ya rabbil alameen jazakallahu khairan سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت